very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking as you can see as always we are really very proud to share with you our results from the premium signals group and we have posted recently the results on the free group and by the way you can access the free group from the link provided below this video i will post it in the description and in the comment section as well so these are the results as you can see and we had thankfully full of green full of good profits that we have made recently and notice something that we have posted the results of the of the past two weeks and of course it's very normal that there will be some really not good days uh, in any for with any forex trader and thankfully in the past two weeks we only had two bad days which is second october and last friday 9th of october meanwhile the rest of the days are really very deep in the profit and uh, the members have actually gained a lot of profits using these signals notice also something here that the profits are really huge 120 pips of profit 30 pips here and there 60 pips of profit meanwhile the losses are zero pips 16 pips 10 pips and zero pips as well so what this is what we are doing my friends we are trying to prevent any signal from reaching the stop loss and focusing only on increasing the increasing the profits and reducing the losses to the maximum and thankfully as you can see this can be seen clearly with the messages that we are receiving from the clients who are enjoying the service and entertaining these good profits he have made two thousand dollars or euro i'm not sure in just in the last three days I mean that is really fantastic this is what we want to see and we want to see the clients really enjoying the service and um, they know the reality that extreme trader forex signals could be the best signal service they have ever joined in their life this is what we are looking for that is our business so in the end i hope um, not i hope i mean uh, if you wish to if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's now begin the weekly analysis and before that we need to understand what's going on in the world because this is actually affecting the us uh, the us dollar prices now of course recently uh, Miss Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the United States of House Representative, she has announced recently that she's planning to remove Mr. Trump from the president presidency as he's no longer fit due to his infection and illness because of the COVID-19 virus. Now, the news actually, I don't think this is going to ever happen, especially with the elections just 20 days ahead. And the thing is, this is actually affecting the US dollar currency index. Um, the gold prices are rising up and the dollar itself is losing its strength. All of that happening because of the critical timing of the infection or of the, yeah, of the infection of Mr. Trump's with the COVID-19 virus along with the upcoming elections in just few days. So therefore, that's actually of course affecting the currency and we can expect right now from the US dollar index to lose its strength and continue the fall. Therefore, our analysis this week for the euro USD is going to be for the rise because as we can see uh, from technical view the US dollar sorry the euro USD was supposed to actually continue the fall due to the pattern right here which means that the pattern or the pair usually should actually continue the fall however from fundamental analysis the pair did not uh, fall of course because of the ECN news which I have just mentioned and therefore we can ex expect from the euro USD to continue the rise all the way until it hit that previous resistance again on 1.19631 therefore what I believe that on the opening of the market at Monday the market is going to continue the rise euro USD is going to continue rising from that point after making the breakout from that resistance level right here which was also a strong resistance and as a support in the past we can expect I don't I don't even expect from the pair to reverse at that point euro USD seems like it's going to be good for the buy right away the reason that the pair is not going to reverse from that previous support level is that the pair is actually going going in a bullish momentum it's rising up and when it's an upper trend or a bullish trend usually the pair will not reverse at the previous support even so we are seeing that this support has been broken out by this strong bearish candle or bearish, uh, bearish breakout candle uh, that doesn't mean that the pair is going to reverse at that support nope is going to actually continue the rise immediately and what what i'm expecting from the from the euro usd is to move exactly like that let's review it together so euro usd is actually going to continue the rise 
until it hit that previous resistance level and then it's gonna make a pullback just to hit the previous support level right there and then gonna continue the rise again until it hit that resistance level from that point it's gonna again make another pullback to hit that resistance level and then it's gonna continue the rise all the way until it hit the resistance level right here on 1.19631 please mark it down let's uh, take a screenshot and let's compare it with how the market will move that's my expectations and from my experience in this uh, business and industry i can say that this is how the pair is gonna actually continue the move for the next week so that being said euro usd um euro usd is actually good for the buy right away on one point oh shit sorry about that one point uh, 18302 and let me just draw for you the safe zone where we can keep the trade running until when so since we are placing our buy order right here at the current price we can expect from the pair to fall all the way at least maximum until here until it hit the strong key support level on 1.17817 that's gonna be the maximum i believe that the pair gonna uh, fall to therefore this is gonna be the signal like that and the safe zone is gonna be ranging for only 45 pips no more so let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone just like that and the take profit level as i mentioned earlier is going to be the resistance on 1.196311 so there goes your signal this week for the euro usd and hopefully also is going to work very well let's right now look at the pound usd the pound usd as well is moving in an upper trend or a bullish momentum as you can see the trend is moving up and recently the pair has shit the pair has shit the pair has reversed just from that previous resistance as you can see right here so we had here this previous key resistance level key resistance level that resistance has recently been breaking out and it has become another support now the thing is the move the trend is moving in upper trend as i said and therefore we cannot expect from the pound usd to reverse at the support for two reasons number one as i mentioned it's going in a bullish trend and when the pair is moving on a bullish trend the previous support will not become another resistance the second thing thing is the 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 reversal on that previous support level has already happened right here these two candles these are representing resistance number one and this second attempt here representing resistance number two that means that support has already become a new resistance therefore we can see that this resistance actually has been breaking out look at that look at that that is the previous support level and that is the previous resistance the pair has already uh, made the breakout of that resistance and this as a bullish breakout candle therefore it's easy to say that the pound usd is actually going to continue the rise all the way until it hit the top of that resistance level so therefore we need to look at the four hour time frame to understand where we can start buying the pair and actually in my opinion we can start the buy right away however just let's have a better uh, a better entry um i think it's not even worth it uh, the pair is gonna reverse just for 10 pips it's not really worth it uh, we can start the buy for the pound usd right away buy now <coughs> on 1.30349 or 50. and okay like that so let's just set the safe zone the safe zone should be fair actually uh, until it hit that previous resistance level as we can see that is the bullish breakout candle and what we have right here is the previous resistance if the pair is ever gonna go against our prediction maximum it will go right there to retest the broken resistance and then gonna continue the rise however i really doubt that this is ever gonna happen so this is gonna be our safe zone and the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 60 pips again really doubt that this is ever going to happen and the pair most likely is going to continue the rise due to the weakness of the us dollar currency index and in this if this happens the take profit level that we are looking for is really big should be until here right that should be enough now why selecting this reason Salah? why not here man come on let's make some gains let's make some good profits now it doesn't work this way um 
the pair is gonna move for almost 2,200 sorry 233 pips hopefully gonna be in profit however you cannot expect from the pair or the dollar and dollar uh, currency to fall that bad i mean yes the us dollar currency index is really weak right now however you cannot expect it to be that weak to rise all the way to that resistance this week or i mean this week this dura the duration of the time this week this upcoming five days uh, therefore we can expect from the pair to reach at least to this key resistance level before it actually make a major uh, reverse and it actually might go down all the way here to hit again retest the broken support level on 1.31720 1, uh, before the rise therefore it makes a lot of more sense actually to set this level here as a take profit yes i know i'm talking too much take profit level is 1.32670 and there goes your signal for the pound USD and hopefully it's gonna be another profitable signal let's now take a look at the AUD USD now very similar to the pound USD and euro USD the AUD USD has also made another bullish breakout candle or sorry a bullish breakout from that resistance level which was also in the past a previous strong key support level now let's look at the daily candles so these are the daily candles of the AUD USD. As you can see the similarity between this and the pound USD, the trend is actually moving in a bullish momentum. And what happened right here, the, the pair has actually already made the break out from that previous support level. So that support level is no longer going to be a resistance and therefore it's easy to say or to see that the AUD USD is going to continue the rise until it hit that resistance level. Therefore, AUD USD should be good for the buy this week. And we are also going to buy it immediately right away from that level exactly right here. So AUD USD is for the buy now on 0 0.72379. Could be have 80. Anyway, uh, the 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 safe zone is also going to be ranging until the pair hit that previous resistance level right here and retesting that broken support level again i have to say i really don't think this is gonna happen and most likely the pair is gonna continue the rise immediately without even reaching um, inside the safe zone and for our tech profit level it's gonna be ranging for almost 105 pips until it hit that resistance level the top of that resistance level on 0.73446 that is going to be our take profit level 0.73446 hopefully also it's going to be another good signal just a little adjustment here i want to reduce the take profit level and just make it right here on that resistance level right here like that so let me just change the take profit level for the AUD USD to be um 0.73236 that's a better and more realistic uh, take profit level signal so let's see how it will go now looking at the usd cad usd cad did not rise as i have expected earlier and it has already made the breakout level from that previous uh, resistance and as we can see that resistance has become uh, a support level only for one time and the second attempt attempt of the support level has sadly failed and the pair is just continuing the fall now as i mentioned it's falling of course because of the weakness of the us dollar currency index and what we can expect right now from the usd cad if we read the movement which happened recently on the usd cad before the closure on friday night we can see that that here we had a previous support level just like that so that support level has already been breaking out from with this bullish breakout candle then see what happened next look focus on on it guys what happened next is another two candles has appeared these two candles has already one week here and another week here these two weeks representing a new resistance level because that support level has already been retested and it has become a new resistance meaning the pair most likely is going to continue the fall right away at the opening of monday uh oh yeah the opening on monday therefore USD cat should be good for the short immediately also at 1.31390 and the safe zone it cannot be ranging for a lot because most likely the pair is gonna actually continue the fall right away um, that should be fair enough like that here until that previous support level so 
uh, that's gonna be the edge of our safe zone let me just draw it for you exactly and the take profit level of course is gonna be at that lowest level of the support level right here so the take profit level is gonna be uh, 1.32 uh, sorry 130216 so again hopefully it's gonna be a good signal and we will make good profit out of it especially that we're looking for 115 pips of profit let's take a look at the UST JPY as you can see I have been analyzing the UST JPY alone before making this video uh, what we can notice right here just one second guys yeah so what I was saying is that what we, as, as we can see right here on daily candles the USD JPY has also failed to break out from that previous resistance level right here and as we can see the pair has actually respected this res resistance trend line and it's very very obvious that the UCGPY is going to actually continue the fall however I don't think this is going to happen immediately uh, it seems like the pound US sorry the USDGPY is going to actually reverse at that previous support level just like here so I'm expecting from the pair to actually fall a little bit more to hit that previous support and then it's going to rise again to hit that resistance level and from that point it's going to be good to start shorting the USD JPY therefore uh, my signal this week for, uh, for the USD JPY is going to be good for the short exactly from that point here yes so USD JPY is going to be good for the short on 105.784 and it's easy to predict the uh, safe zone since we are inside the uh, resistance trend line so if the pair has actually made the break out of that resistance trend line it means the signal has failed so the safe zone is going to be ranging for only 48 pips uh, and no more as we can see it's just like that as I said before um, if the pair has reversed from that support level and we started shorting the USD GPY exactly at that previous resistance then for the safe zone it's easy to say that the fail the trade the trade has failed if we see the price continue the rise above that uh, entry and it might still continue to hit to continue the rise to hit the next resistance trend line and if it ever gonna exceed it that means the trade has failed because most likely what will gonna happen is that the pair gonna continue the rise and then it's gonna retest the broken uh, resistance level and continue again to rise however with the weakness of the US dollar I really don't think this is gonna happen I'm just explaining to you the scenarios and the possibility of, of uh, each of them to happen anyway uh, the take profit level here my friends is going to be uh, 104.516 and the reason I'm picking this support level as a target is because actually if we look at the daily candles we can expect from the pair let me just remove this so we can see it more clear so I'm expecting actually if the pair gonna continue the fall all the way to hit that previous support level uh, we can we can have a triple bottom and from that point the USD GPY is gonna continue the rise therefore I had to select the high level of the support level as a take profit level instead of selecting this level right here the lowest one because I really don't think the pair is gonna uh, reach that level at all so here it is Oh shit, the dice. Shit. Okay, sell on uh, 105.784. So get, there goes your signal for the USD GPY, and hopefully, also, it's gonna work well. Now, let's take a look at the USD CHF. Now, the first look at the UCCHF, we can see very clear that the pair has actually made another attempt to break out from that previous support level. However, we had here one attempt and, and another fake attempt and also failed from the breakout of the resistance. And it's very clear that the UCCHF also, supported by the weakness of the US dollar, is going to continue the fall. Therefore, USDCHF seems like it's gonna be good for the short right away on the current price so we can start shorting the USDCHF right now on 0 0.90943 that's gonna be our level to start shorting the pair and remember I'm on the daily candles so let me just select for you the safe zone which is gonna be ranging of course until this previous resistance level 
So this is exactly going to be the signal for the USD CHF. And just like that. So the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 55 pips only. Meanwhile, the take profit level that we are seeking is going to be almost 99 or 100 pips. Hopefully going to be a good profit. So the take profit level is at the lowest level of the support on 0.89961. And again, hopefully, it's going to be another profitable signal we are going to make this week. Now, let's check the gold. Of course, the gold is also rising because of the weakness of the US dollar. And the investors are actually heading to the gold right now because they feel it's more safe, much more safe, actually, than the US dollar currency or the, 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 the US dollar currency. So... <clears throat> It's very obvious right now that the gold has actually made the reverse of that support level here and the pair could not actually go below the price of a thousand nine hundred uh sorry a thousand eight hundred eight and one thousand eight hundred forty eight and seems like the gold right now is ranging in the in the zone of one thousand nine hundred dollars so I believe that the pair is going to actually continue to rise and with the current situation of the US dollar um, currency and the elections are coming and all these um, problems that we're having uh, in the White House and with, with Mr. Donald Trump's uh, health, which is not really finalized until the moment, his health has really been a mystery for quite for a few days right now and there is a lot of... Um, confusion if his condition has been fully recovered or is he really um, recovering or not so really we're not really sure what's going on with him so all of that all of that together is actually increasing the prices of the gold and the gold seems like it's gonna see a good days and it's gonna continue to rise therefore i'm sending the signal to start buying the gold right now so the gold is actually good for the buy right now mm. Now on, let me just select it actually, let me just be careful. Uh, yes, definitely, yes, yes, good for the buy right now. Buy now. I have been analyzing this since morning and I don't want to change it right now. I'm convinced that hopefully this is going to be another good uh, signal. So as I said, uh, the gold is going to be good for the buy right now at the current price level. And the safe zone is going to be ranging until it hit that previous uh, resistance. So therefore, we, ca we can look for... That's a lot, really. Let me just change it. Yes. The safe zone is going to be ranging for almost one th 127 pips only. And let me draw for you the safe zone, which is going to be like that. And the take profit level, hopefully, is going to be really good with... Uh, almost 600 pips hopefully gonna be in good profits we are going to keep the longing or the buy of the gold until it hit that resistance level right there and let's see how it will go so the take profit level is gonna be 1889.84 there goes your signal for the gold as well and I believe it's gonna be another very good and successful week and hopefully everyone will make some really good profits using these signals and in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.